Okay, hello today viewers, this is Melfus Elstang, and today I'm going to show you a lot about my favorite game, Freelancer. Ignore all the other crap at the bottom, we need to go to Firefox, and I've been asked a lot of weird things, so... First off, we're going to start with the Discovery Wiki. Freelancer Discovery is a mod, it's called Freelancer Discovery 4.85 Reunion. And a lot of people ask me a lot of things that can be found on the wiki. So you just want to Google wiki and you want to go to this first one here. If you go to the second one or the third one, that's okay. There's still links to it. And this is what it looks like. And you can surf the systems. Whatever it decides to load. And you got all the systems here. It's even got a little bit about the unknown system. Check my other video for fun how to get to that. But a lot of the questions people ask are like where jump holes are, you can find that by clicking on each system. Um, and a lot about, you know, ships. If you ever need a ship, or think about getting a ship, you just come here, click on ship, and you can sort by name, weapons, cargo, hull, nanobot, shield batteries, price, and notes. I like to sort by notes because if I want to get something where I can go into, say, unknown with it, and I'm probably going to want to get a civilian ship, which these are all the listed, you know, unmarked civilian ships. Uh, I think you can get in with the Raven's Talon, I'm not sure. And if you need more info on the ship, you just click on it and let it load the page, and you know, you got a nice little picture, it gives out all the information here, a little bit of background on it. Handling is pretty much just a review by the people. Got all the hard points listing, spoilers, and what else it, it comes with, and then where you can buy it. And again, you can sort these. You have rules, server rules, factions, player commands. We'll check out player commands. Don't need to worry about server commands. Uh, player characters, my bad. I meant server commands. I guess you don't need the actual server server commands. But these are all these things that you can use to, you know, like, restart somewhere. I'm just looking at these places because I want to make a new character. I want to be have a Corsair and a Gallia pluck character. And these are all these things that you can... Let me see. Let me find some good ones. Uh, Ping's a good one to use. Let me scroll down to the money commands. These are the money commands. These are real helpful. We're going to scroll all the way back up. We're going to go to... I don't think I've clicked this link yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have. You can actually bring up a map. I'm going to bring it up in a new tab. And these tell you about the guard systems, <clears throat> the human settlements with the wars, the six sleeper ships. And here you are. And then you can open this. And why did I open it in a new tab? Now you can do, you know, yeah, expand it out a little bit. And then here's your huge map. All the, um, big white lines are jump gates all these small little white clearish lines those are jump holes Bastille up here that is a jail system no way in or out except for an admin putting you in there uh, an unknown's right there okay we're going to close out of that but that, and it's even got a list of commodities and equipment and IDs and of course I'm telling you this because people ask me a lot of questions on like you know what ships to buy what equipment to buy and this is just a video to help you figure out what you want to get as far as a ship say I got the Eagle from earlier what I was showing you okay now with that if I want to figure out what kind of weapons I want I'd go here and you know look I got my civilian weapons here of course there's some that are a little bit better than this but of course they aren't showed on here but I, and then of course you know you find out you know like uh, heavy flashpoint it's just, that's a good civilian laser weapon buying locations sort by system barrier gate station owners freelance users and Coronado system Barrier Gate Station, okay, if, what if I want to go to Barrier Gate Station, I'm going to click on it. And there's a picture, it's in 5B, so if you bring up your map and you set a waypoint 5B, you'll find it. And there you go, there's all all the other things about this system. The next thing I want to show you is uh, 
go back to Google is where to find all these mods so you want to go to uh, yeah can't type you want to type in freelancer mods just like that and you want to go to a place called mod db stands for mod database and the URL is moddb.com slash game slash freelancer and it's going to come up with a page sort of like this and it shows you the most recent pictures and mods this is for a mod called crossfire 1.8 this picture here it's a really nice mod very high end on graphics a very good mod uh, this is 88 flak 88 flak is another really good sort of high end or end mod I think it's uh, improved over the years oh, I hadn't played that one yet but um, if you want to browse some mods you can uh, well first off if you want to browse downloads for the game you can come here and this has a few mods and a freelancer companion other tools like that the freelancer is a server and modding tools this is how everybody makes their own mods uh, SDKs uh, editing tools a lot of it just tools here if you want to get any add-ons you click add-ons this has um some graphic add-ons some patches and some other you know like music packs HD textures alternate menu packs that kind of thing videos and images those are just random videos and images of the mods but if you want to come to mods you can come down here and you can sort by any status release coming soon unreleased genres themes players and then you can search and you got the uh, the alphabet here that you can search by and I want to do released mods because mods coming right out are pretty cool and I do support those I go around and you know tell people you know good job here's what I think you should do with this and you know released and you can see when they're released and it's all of its other good stuffs just ignore the flashing lights at the bottom people are just messaging me right now and if you want some more info on a mod like uh... let me try to find uh... freelancer discovery right here reunion you click on it it's got an overview uh... news features downloads videos and this is sort of just you know, brief overview. There's the latest screenshots of everything. There's here's the latest news of everything. And there's even the latest video. And here's the latest downloads. So you want to download it. Alright, we'll scroll up here. We'll go to downloads. Alright, which one do you need? Well first you need the full version and then of course it says patch, patch, full version. Click it again. It's only 89 megabytes. You want to click download now. My DB is going to bring up this thing. It normally downloads it from file front. If it doesn't come up like this, then you can click another mirror. Or you can click uh, the other download button that was there and try again. File front and DB. Pretty simple. But this is just a quick video to show you guys where to download mods and where the wiki is for Freelancer Discovery Mod and maps of course uh, I don't know about a database for um, what is that crossfire 1.8 there used to be a database I can't find it anymore you needed some kind of password to get in it was sort of like the freelancer wiki but they didn't really like people getting in I would show you if I could but I can't remember but if I do find a way to get back into it I will make another video to let you guys know and I hope this video really helps everybody out, and uh, thanks for watching.